Hello there, I am Giant Code with more Pokemon Yellow. In the last part, we got here, uh, we started at the actually front entrance of a uh, rock tunnel, and now we, um, about, um, I think we're about halfway or so, so now we're gonna probably finish rock tunnel this part. Uh, Pikachu are in, uh, Pikachu, my st nickname Storm, of course, uh, Liquid Level 26 and Land Thunderbolt, and everything, I think everyone's level 26 except for Tabasco and Lavender, and Lavender's in the PC because I have a fairy with me, and we use Flash to light up the rock tunnel because it's dark out when you enter, and you can only light it up with Flash, or you can use, like, it gives, it shows you the walls of everything, and whatnot, like, you could probably get through here without Flash easily, but in the later games, like in Fire and Leaf Green, they could be only a circle of light around your character, and it's a little harder. You have to like hug the walls more. So yeah, you don't try anything funny in the dark. It's perfectly lit, but I understand why your dialogue says that, because maybe you're going through the rock tunnel without Flash or something. Here's another junior trainer, Buzzsprout. Okay, cool. With Tabasco is the type of advantage right now. This is level 22. Let's go for the Ember. It's going to be super effective, which is nice. Maybe by the end of this battle, uh, you know, Tabasco will finally be level, uh, 26, and you use Pearls. Okay, Rap, okay, Rap and Paralysis don't really go well in Gen 1, cause, uh, oh my gosh, I might want to heal Paralysis if- Dang it, the stupid Rap continues, stupid Rap attack. I think it ha it doesn't help that I'm not going first, or Tabasco's not going first. Da oh my gosh, this is a problem. Fine, we'll use a uh, Paralysis, I guess. We have six of them. Because that's not a good combination. Okay, hopefully Tabasco can still stand strong. Yeah, there we go, use Ember. Cool, cool. Nice. The Buscot will go down, which is nice for us because that bus part was annoying. Tabasco's in the level 26. Awesome. It's about to use Clefairy. Okay, we'll go to a. Uh, We'll go to, uh, Grumpy for that one, because we can lose low kick or something, you know? This Clefairy is level 22. That's good for it, I guess. Let's go for the low kick on this thing. It hits awesome. 1k, awesome. So yeah, there goes the Junior Trainer. She is defeated. Ha ha ha. It was, wait, it was too dark. Okay, whatever. The next for bunch of four Poké Dollars. It was perfectly lit, in my opinion. Okay, here's another, here's, this is probably gonna be another Junior Trainer female. You have Pokemon, let's start. Okay, let's battle, man. Yes, it's another junior trainer female. Okay, yeah. Pidgey, okay, she has a Pidgey. It's cool. Let's go for the Ember. Okay, let's use Gust. Hopefully it doesn't do too much, it does 7 HP. Okay, let's just hit on the Ember to faint it then. And it goes down, yay. Okay, so she's for the Rata. Okay, we'll go to, let's go try out Storm's new move, Thunderbolt. So right to level 19, okay, cool. So yeah. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay, because I have Thunderbolt at the bottom because it's the shortest of the moves, uh, character-wise. So I like kept having the longest moves first and the shorter moves at the bottom for Gen 1 listing of Pokemon moves. I don't know, I just like it that way. It's cool, I guess. Okay, so yeah. Rata. She's another Thunderbolt. <laughs> So the is also level 19, just like the last one. And it one it kills awesome, nice. Bell Sprout. Let's go back to uh Tabasco then. Hopefully this Bell Sprout doesn't give us too much trouble. This Bell Sprout's level 19. I think that Bell Sprout was like 12, 21, so the one we fought far away from the last junior trainer, I think it was level 22. And uh it should have been a weeping bell, but who am I to say, oh, you can't, you have to evolve your Pokemon, it's the law. I'm not saying that, but I kind of just said that, so it's like, what is going on? Yeah, okay. Okay, we got this. I think that's the end of the battle, too. Yeah, cool. Uh, you play hard. I play hardball, I'm sorry. Thanks for 380 Poké Dollars. The Pulse Effect off. okay. So, uh, let's put another Pulse on. We have 10 left. No, I didn't mean to get off my bicycle. I meant to select a repel by accident, select the bicycle. There we go. We have 10 more repels. Okay, cool. We might be near the end, actually, but... Well, maybe not. Maybe we have another 4 or something. Uh, let's go to... Let's go to Gamma, I guess. Let's switch to Gamma, I should say. Okay, I came here for this far for Pokemon. I think that's what she said. 
Well then, let's battle Junior. Oh, another Junior. Why can't there ever be a lass? You know, there's it's just all Junior training females for some reasons. For some reason, it's just like that. Let's go for the Bubble Beam on this Mayoth that's level 20. That we could quite awesome. Oddish, okay. Let's switch to, uh, I guess Tabasco. Let's go for the Ember. Does absorb on us, okay. And it only does 2 HP, but it gets 1 HP back because it takes, it restores half of what is inflicted on your opponent for like absorbing Mega Drain and Giga Drain for those moves. So yeah, Pidgey, okay. Let's go to, let's go to Storm, I guess. This is super effective, let's just slip on it. Yay! It's Pidgey's level 20. Evolve, it should evolve at level 18, but again, who am I to say, hey, you have to evolve your Pokemon. Sorry, that's the rule. I'm out of Pokemon, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for 400 Pokedollars. But you, yet you don't black out. Haha. <laughs> that's This is the end of the tunnel, actually, so that's actually cool. Okay, so, uh, is there any other items? I don't think there is. Let's get out of here. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, who's up front again? I think it's Gamera. Yeah, okay, let's stay Gamera up front. Oh, well, let me guess, this is another junior trainer female, isn't it? <laughs> I'm feeling a bit faint from this tough hike. Yeah, it's it's a long, it's a long dungeon, I guess you could say. Yes, another junior trainer female, of course. I just live to fight these types, types, types of trainers, you know? It's like crazy. Let's go for the bull beam. This game is well and it's unaffected, good. Let's go for the, the water gun, I guess. Nice, okay. Pidgeotto, okay, I'll stay in for Pidgeotto, I guess. Why not? Let's see this bulb you want to sing. Cool. Sand attacks hits though, so Gamera's accuracy is lowered, and this gets quick attack on us, of course. Let's hope we can still hit this thing. Yeah, there we go, nice, we did. We were able to. Cool. I'm not up to it. Sorry, but thanks for 420 Poker Dollars. Well, Hiker, we'll just keep going with it. We'll stay up with it. We'll have a camera still up at the front then. Ha 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 ha. What's so funny, Hiker? You think you're gonna win against me? We'll see about that. So, this is a Hiker. He has two Pokemon, okay? One's a Geodude, okay? This thing's level 21, okay, cool. Let's go for the Water Gun. There we go, nice. Game is in level 27, awesome. Onyx, okay, we'll switch to uh, Brute Root for this one, I guess. Let's go for the Vine Whip, I guess. It's super effective, and it's four times super effective, too. And it wanna kill us the Onyx, cool. Okay, yeah. Ha, uh, not laughing. Hi, hey, hey, fever. Ah, you. Okay, thanks for the 735 Poké Dollars. And bless you, man. Bless you, hiker. Okay, my pro off had a good time there. This is an item, it's a max ether. Awesome. So it restores, uh, of one move, of, for, uh, PP, of, a PP of one move completely, actually. Which is really nice. I'm pretty sure that's the description for it, too. Cause I know Elixirs do like, um, all the moves, like an elixir restores like I think 10 pp of every move of a Pokemon and then like a max elixir restores all pp of all moves of one Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's put a, let's put Bootwood up to the front I guess. There's a Pokemaniac, I think he has like a, he may have like a Sancho or something, I, I don't even know actually. We'll have to see. Hey kid, wanna see my Pokemon? Sure, why not? Let's battle. Send the Pokemaniac. She sent out Cubone. Okay, that, that works because uh, Brute Root super has Vine Whip, which is super effective. Although he might be running low. On, yeah, he only has two Vine Whips after this. Jeez, this Cubone's level twenty, by the way, too. Awesome, one kill. Slowpoke. Okay, 
We'll keep in. We'll stay in for the Slowpoke, I guess. It's also super effective. I don't know if it's also super effective on the Slowpoke since it's water type, you know? Confusion on I mean, that's super effective because poison. Brewit's path poison. Yeah, okay, whatever. Let's use another Vine Whip. I guess that's the last Vine Whip that it has, though. I could check after this battle because I didn't want to pay attention to it. I might have one more after this, but anyway, I'll check after this battle still. So, yeah. Oh no, my Pokemon. Sorry, thanks for 1,000 Poké Dollars. So yeah, let's see, how many Final Ups does Brutwood still have? Zero, okay. But Final Ups, uh, Brutwood's gonna be switched with Storm, I guess, so maybe Grumpy? And then, because I think the, there's a Hiker over there, honestly. So, yeah. There we go, nice. Ah, the mountains are so delicious, is delicious. I guess you could say that. That's probably true. So this Hiker has, how many Pokemon? Two, okay. Onyx, okay. Cool. Sonic's level 19. Let's go for the body slam. Not not the body slam, actually. The um, I meant to go for the low kick. Jeez. Oh, but it paralyzed it. Nice. Okay, it's gonna use rock through, though. It's not very effective. Good. Because it's fighting type. Oh, of course. It hung on by a little bit. That's happened a lot so far. Let's use Karate Trap on it then. Hopefully it'll finish it off. There we go, quick quit, nice. Gravel, okay. Cool, let's use low kick on this thing. Nope, low kick missed, of course. Rock throw is still gonna hit though. Did 8 HP. Got no, come on Grumpy, you have to help yourself out by uh, getting low kick to hit. Although I could have healed there, but I didn't. Yeah, dang it. Let's get his tackle. Grumpy's gonna go down, because I was careless. Let's go for Tabasco then. Let's go for the Ember. There we go, nice. We did feel like awesome. That cleared my head. Thanks for 665 Poké Dollars. That was the last train of the route, actually. I'm not gonna go and uh, wait this music. Wait, I have to go for my bicycle. You guys gotta hear this music, it's spooky. Okay, hold on, um, bicycle. This is the Labyrinth Town music. This is a great track, honestly. Um, I'm gonna put my Max Ether in the PC, and I'm gonna deposit Fairy here and get a Lavender out of the um, PC. Lavender's coming out of the PC, and she'll be. He'll be in Lavender Town, haha. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Also, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon too. So see you guys in a second. Okay, so I'm back. I'm gonna rearrange my Pokemon actually by level order. Level 27, level 27, level 25. Yeah, Lavender's going up front actually. There we go, that should be good. Level 25, level 26, level 26, level 26, level 27, level 27. Cool. So I'm not gonna go in Pokemon Tower just yet. Because uh, I'll do that after I actually beat the rocket hideout at the ga in the game corner, I guess. Because all you see when you go in there, um, well, I can have a rival battle with your rival, but I'm gonna save it till later, uh, till after I return back to um, Lavender Town with the Silph Scope. Because the Silph Scope lets you see the ghosts in in Pokemon Tower. There's gonna be these ghost enemies that you can't see and you can't fight them. So like without the, having the Silph Scope, Silph Co Silph Scope in your bag, so you know that's why. Um, I think one of these is the name Raider House, right? No. Wait, what's the, what does this sign say? Well, I've done bought two Pokemon houses. Okay. So one of these houses right here is the, um, is a, the move, to, move name writer, I guess. So if I can find the right one, I think it's this one. I like how the music changed when we go into his house. Hello, hello, I'm the official name raider. Would you like to me rate nicknames of your Pokemon? Nope, I already like the nicknames of my Pokemon. Fine. Uh, come back if you like, I think is what I said. I kinda clicked too fast there. Okay, so, yeah. Let's go. Oh yeah, the music changes again once we go in the mart. Okay, so let's, uh, let's buy like three great balls, I guess. Why not? Um, super potions, let's buy like two more, I guess. We can buy revives now, awesome. It's about like three, I guess. Yeah, three is good. Escape ropes we don't need. Super pills. 
Um, we can buy like five, I guess. Antidotes, let's buy like three more, because they're cheap. We're, on, we're running low on them, actually. For all seals, let's buy like two more. We're good here. Now let me see my bag real quick. Just so I can see how it's organized stuff. Um, super pills. Super pills can go over repels, I guess. I'll put where I was at the bottom, I guess. Maybe they can stop. Maybe they can, uh. Um, yeah, let's put them right like that. Like above the super pills, I guess you could say. So, yeah. This is a great track. I'm not gonna go south of Lavender Town either just yet. So, uh, we're at 17 minutes in recording time, okay. We could do a couple more battles, I guess. So yeah, Lavender's up front. Let's take on this junior trainer female, probably. Uh, it's gonna be any of those. Junior trainer female. They take over the Pokemon universe in Gen 1, I guess. <laughs> in Kanto, at least. Um, Gen 1 is Kanto, so that's, yeah. Okay. So, uh, what's, what's a cute round fluffy Pokemon? Uh, I guess Colf, no, Jigglypuff would make sense, cause Jigglypuff is more circular. But Colfairy, I guess, could work too. Oh, my goodness, this is a lass. Jeez, you don't see that. It's actually a lass instead of, um, a junior trainer female, that's good. Let's just double click on this because it's super effective. It's level 22. Let's see if we can take it out. Okay, it's gonna take, uh, maybe like also another move, yeah. Hit two times, okay, double slap. You better not hit three times or more because, uh, that'd be false advertising then. You know, my, my lavender had, uh, only attacked twice with double kick. Let's go for the horn attack to finish it off. There we go, nice. Okay, let's go fairy. Okay, let's stay in, I guess. You know, I'm gonna use Thrash. Hopefully, it'll finish it off in at least two hits. Yeah, cool. Nice. Let's go Sing. Of course, you're gonna use Sing. Oh my gosh, that was smart of that Clefairy to do that, because now Lavender is asleep. Let's go Growl. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lavender is asleep. I know. Oh, of course, it's gonna. Be, how does it get three turns? I get how it gets like two because I use Thrash, but how does it get three turns in a row? Oh my gosh, that's stupid. Wait, I can't even. Can I even select what I want to do? Can I? Can I not? Can I? Can I not? For some reason, use an item. Are you kidding me? I can't use an item. Okay, this is probably Gen One, because uh, you could after like. Oh my gosh, whatever. This is just gonna take forever. I can't even switch out Pokemon, apparently. This is stupid. Thank you. Yeah, until Lavender wakes up, that can happen. But, uh, until it's not woken up and still asleep, I guess I can just beat up on my freaking Lavender. That's cool. Oh, because I think it was because it kept on using Thrash. Uh, it used Thrash once. And then it's gonna use it again for the third time. Nice. Good. I'm glad we defeated that stupid Clefairy. That Clefairy is being stupid. Don't be mean to my Clefairy. Okay, I'm sorry. You're kind of being mean to my Lavender. Jeez. Here's a gamer, I guess. I'm a ga I'm a rambling game bowling dude. Okay, yeah. Does he have, like, Poliwags? Or does he have, like, Grass-type Pokemon? Or Fire-type Pokemon? Because they all have the, either or. Or either of the three. Yeah, okay. So, Growlith. Okay. Let's go for the Horn Attack. It's a Growlithe, that's level 24. That's great. Let's get his bite on us, of course. Let's get his horn attack again. There we go, nice. Okay, Vulpix, nice. Let's go for the horn attack. Okay, let's get his tail whip, I guess. Cool. Nice. Here we go, Game Boy was defeated. Missed the big score. Sorry man, thanks for 1,600 poke dollars, 66, 660 poke dollars I think is what it said. You can use Cut to catch down that bush and like, get into the tall grass. Like in Fire in the Queen, I think you can um, catch like, you can catch a Vulpix or a Growlithe, depending on the version of exclusives. I think in Wave Green it was Vulpix you got, and then Fire Red you got um, Growlithe. Which I think Growlithe is the better one obviously, but uh, yeah. You need strategy to win at this. Okay, that's cool.
Super nerd wants to fight. Okay, as a grammar. Cool. Let's go for the horn attack. Just, okay. If I use another horn attack, it'll probably survive. You know how it goes. It looks like it's a little bit more than half. I knew it. Let's get this pound on us. Okay. Let's go for the horn attack, I guess. Oh, he doesn't love 26. Awesome. Muck, okay. Let's switch to uh, Tabasco, I guess. Well, actually, everyone's level 26, except for... Yeah, actually, we can actually switch to... Uh, let's switch to Storm. Yeah, let's get Muck, okay, of course. It's level 22. Storm is gonna use Thunderbolt, though. Ha 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 ha. I think this will be the last battle of the video, too. Let's go for the Thunderbolt again. Just to make sure it faints. Grammar will stay in, I guess. There we go, nice. We got a Thunderbolt on it. It's not logical, sorry, but it is. <laughs> Thanks for 550 Poké Dollars. I'm gonna end the part right here. Yeah, there's poison there. Um, so this has been on my Pokemon Yellow Walk the Guy part. The next part will take on the rest of this route, which I forget. I, I'll put on screen what this route is, actually. But yeah, I will finish up this route hopefully and make it to Celadon City. So yeah, so this has been Janko again. I would like to mention goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Yellow Walk the Guide.